If motor neurons are not functioning properly, our foot might move instead of our hands, or we may not be able to move at all. Loss of motor neurons causes paralysis, resulting in difficulty speaking, swallowing, and eventually breathing, leading to respiratory failure and ultimately death. This is the cause of a rare, devastating disease called ALS, for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which has an average survival of two to five years. After many years of research, scientists have discovered that degeneration of motor neurons in ALS may be caused by a malfunction in surrounding cells called astrocytes. Astrocytes are present in the brain and spinal cord where they support the motor neurons by providing nutrients and maintaining a healthy environment for them to reside. You can think of the astrocytes as the motor neuron's personal assistant. In the case of ALS, astrocytes can malfunction, which causes the motor neurons to degenerate and eventually die. Scientists are using stem cells to find ways to prevent the motor neurons from dying by replacing damaged astrocytes. One group of scientists is attempting this approach using astrocyte precursor cells. While astrocytes may provide great support on their own, Svensson has further modified the cells to secrete a powerful growth factor called GDNF, which has been shown in laboratory animals to protect motor neurons. The idea behind Cedar sinais approach is to introduce these modified neural precursor stem cells into the spinal cord, where they would act as Trojan horses to introduce the protective growth factor, GDNF, at the site of motor neuron injury. Once implanted, the scientists think these modified cells would migrate to the site of injury, where they would turn into astrocytes and produce high amounts of GDNF to protect, support, and maybe even heal the damaged and dying motor neurons. 